The party starts off with the clinking of wine glasses. The barroom is filled with the nobility of divinity's reach, with everyone secluding themselves to cliques, never venturing out to talk to one another. <sighs> Lively party, eh, Watson? Watson grimaces slightly before turning to see Lord Farron approaching. Without diverting his attention from the partygoers, Watson responds, I can't believe this is all you do. It's so incredibly boring. Well, Lord Farron says, This may be all you do, but I am a world-class swordsmaster. Remember when I conquered the jungle of Verdant Brink? Watson chuckles. Aha, yes, I remember quite well from the last time you told me that story. You know, I must admit, Lord Farron, I am a bit envious of you. You were able to escape this monotony to do what you love. I am forced to be here to keep appearances for my estate. Sir Watson, you are the head of your estate under the command of nobody. While you do have responsibilities to your house, you should not dedicate your life to it. A balance must be struck. If you need to go out, go out. <coughs> A woman's yelp cuts through the crowd followed by the crashing of glasses and the clanging of a metal tray coming from the bar. Watson and Lord Farron looked to the commotion. A barmaid was attempting to tug her dress free from the grasp of a rather inebriated nobleman. This particular nobleman was infamous for getting very drunk very quickly at every party. Watson set his glass down and walked to the bar, Lord Farron trailing a short distance behind. The drunk nobleman's friends had joined in the harassment. She slapped the man who held her dress and turned to get away, but he grabbed her wrist, balled his fist, and reeled back to strike her. Watson grabbed his arm and pulled him away from the woman, shoving him into the bar. One of the drunkard's buddies whacked Watson with a wooden cane, but Lord Farron quickly put him down with a swift punch to the jaw. By this time, the original offender was back on his feet, along with three of his friends. He had a wine bottle in his hand and swung at Watson's head. Watson ducked under the clumsy swing and used the drunk's momentum to drive his knee into the man's gut. The drunk doubled over, clutching his stomach. A second drunk threw himself at Watson, tackling him to the ground and landing a few heavy punches to his ribs. Lord Farron was busy dealing with his own drunkard, who had a broken wine glass in his hand and was trying to use it as a shiv. The drunkard lunged at Lord Farron, stabbing at his stomach. He put too much weight into his lunge, however, and toppled forward onto his face and then laid still. Lord Farron sighed. Well, that was a bit disappointing. Watson was still struggling to get the last drunkard off of him when Lord Farron kicked the drunk in the side of the head. Lord Farron helped Watson to his feet. You okay, Watson? Watson's breathing was heavy as he responded. Yes, thank you for the assist, but I am certain I could have handled him. Lord Farron chuckled. Of course, you definitely had him right where you wanted him. They both surveyed the damage they and the drunks have caused. Lots of spirits and wine lay splattered across the floor. The other patrons have long since left, and judging by the damage... It seems they just dropped all their drinks onto the ground before leaving. The owner of the establishment poked his head in now that the commotion died down. Oh my! Did you people just take all my drinks and throw them onto the ground? Most of my drinks are low on stock, and some bandits blew up my last shipment before it even left the Black Citadel. Watson's face turned blank. Oh, who, who would do such a thing? Look. I'll help you get a new shipment in as soon as I can. The owner's face lit up. You will? Oh, thank you, sir. If you do, you're welcome to drink for free whenever you want. How exactly are you going to get him an entire shipment of alcohol? You don't own a brewery. Are you just going to lug your own house's reserves up to this place? Lord Farron asked Watson as they exited. A sly smirk drew across Watson's face. Oh, I think I know of a way. 
Early the next morning, Watson entered the Nicholas Traveler warehouse before everyone else to look for a shipment he could use to fulfill his promise. An hour into his search, she began to lose hope. Then suddenly, light filled the warehouse. Kit the Traveler opened the warehouse doors wide and stood there for a moment, a little shocked to see Watson inside. Watson, you're here early. Well, this is a first, Kit said. Watson let out an exasperated sigh. Come on, Kit. You know I don't like being called that. Fine then, rookie. Would you mind telling me why you're here? Watson lied and said a shipment of beer kegs was destined for the bar from last night, omitting the whole bar fight thing, and that they needed the shipment for today. Well, said Kit, we never got a shipment of ale or any alcohol. Well, the owner of the bar said his last shipment was blown up by bandits before it left the Black Citadel, Watson explained. Oh, well, uh... Kit stammered. Then I'll tell you what. I'll take care of finding the shipment for this bar, and you can haul it up there. Don't worry about helping me find it. I got this handled. Kit backed out of the warehouse. Adventurers! Kit needs your help to replace a shipment of ale that was blown up due to Watson's clumsiness last week. Send in five items of alcohol, such as ale or wine, to Kit, so Watson can haul it up to the bar he and Lord Farron wrecked up.